Hey guys, Jake here, and I'm going to be recording um, another DPL game live. This is uh, right after I record DPL um, Platoon Goons versus uh, DPL's first team. It was between Will and LeJohn, so Will did become do, do, Will did come victorious out of that. So this time we're recording um, Bill versus Draw. Draw does seem to be a pretty good player. Everyone's been praising him hard, and I know Bill is definitely a solid player as well. So let's get right into it. Um, so Bill just start, started to leave with his Lando T. Lando T seemed like a good lead for him, just kind of covered everything. And Stunfisk, I'm uh, not really sure why Draw led Stunfisk. It looks like it led to a lot, but I'm sure he had his reasoning. So Bill just clicks Earthquake right off the bat as Draw re reveals the Eye Papa, HP Ice, and um, Lando does take that well, but he does get a crit, which is unfortunate because Lando will probably want help later on for the Scizor and stuff. And Bill goes hard hard um inferno versus shaman and that does a lot so i'm thinking that might either be like a minus spadef or like a very offensive shaman as they'll uh, just go straight for the u-turn on the alamomola that u-turn does a lot i think that's that, that could definitely be abandoned as a u-turn doing 25 to an alamomola is pretty unexpected so bill can either go into something like a finny if he wants to wear it down with something like uh, nature's that Ma nature's madness taunt or you can go into something like zero Aura. Uh, if, he, if he's like a mixed HPI set, as he did already pop the eye pop very on the stun fisk, and that is getting whittled down as HPS will be doing a solid chunk if he's like mixed life orb, the stun fisk will probably be able to take it well at first. But um, looking at the matchup, um, Coco definitely looks like a huge, huge, huge threat, but uh, Bill does have the Zeror to outspeed and check it. He does have the Landorus, which which uh, has, has out his Yachty popped. But, um, and Mega Scissor can do a lot at plus two, but other than that, it's looking scary. He doesn't really have the most reliable switch-ins into top of Coco. Um, uh, Zero Aura looks like a big threat as well, because he was managed, he was, he did manage to get rid of the Sunfisk, and also if that's an offensive shame, and Greninja just looks like it goes ham if he's something like, um, like a Life Orb Greninja, as if he's Life Orb, Shaman won't like taking Ice Beams or Gunk Shots at all, but, um, and like, if he, if he, like, uh, Ice Beam can obviously threaten the Gren, Stunfisk can do can um, just drop to Life Orb Hydro, or not even Life Orb, but Alan Momola can kind of if he he can he can either spike up or do a decent amount with Dark Pulse or Grass Knot. Uh, Coco can of course revenge it, but doesn't really like searching, and he goes straight into the Zero Aurora. We'll see what kind of set this is. Um, I'm not positive, but I think that's an offensive shaman based on how much damage that did to Infernape, and um, although it it might not be, I think Seed Flare is just a pretty strong move, so. Draw, draw just go hard into the stun fist. Get zero Aura reveals the bulk up, so that's pretty scary. Um, but Earth Power should do a decent amount still. So this could either be something like a Shuka, but if this is, um, I think this could be like Z Outrage if this is Z Zero Aura. That's something I can definitely see happening. It catches the Garchomp as Zero Aura doesn't really have any other physical moves to hit Garchomp if I could recall correctly. So that could be a nice tech, catch a lot of things off guard. And um, it probably does a decent amount to Sunfisk if he is predicting a Spadef Sunfisk to act as the Zero Roar counter, which is definitely um, somewhat obvious. As, um, yeah, oh, it's actually all the Pum Link that does make a lot of sense as, as well. Uh, hits the Shame and Heart as well, and just a better close combat, just a better move overall. So he does get the kill in the Stunfisk, but um, now he can go into the Garchomp and likely take any hit or threaten it, threaten it out with the Scarf. Um, Finny or Lando can both seem. Uh, pretty um, good switch-ins as I don't think a dragon move is a play for draw at, in this position as Aurora would take any hit and um, and uh, even after like the close combat drop if he's scarf if he's scarf um, I can maybe see it but locking himself into scarf dragon claw isn't really ideal and um, I think a dragon claw would to a KO but not positive draw uh, Bill just does go straight into his Lando as um, Drodrick makes a save play and clicks Earthquake, which I, I think was his best play. Um, so, rocks are up for this Lando, which is nice, but yeah, Bill can kind of click U-turn and get some momentum. Yeah, that U-turn does a ton, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confident that's a, that's a offensive shaman. So now Bill can either go for a U-turn with, uh, Infernape, or he can also go into something like, um, yeah, yeah, going into Infernape and clicking the U-turn, as, as long as that's like a, that's a Specs or boosting item shaman. If this is something like a scar shaman, it could be pr pretty problematic, but you can kind of play around it with the scissor and the infernate. But yeah, he does go straight into the infernate. I'm sure Bill calc to a kind of 
Infernapes that this is using his um, calcs and whatnot. Uh, so, yeah, Bill's definitely looking at a very strong position right now. He has the Infernape, which kind of just goes ham. Like, he does have the Alamo Mola, but Kenji's U turn and the Alamo Mola invites a lot of things in, such as the Finny. And, um, yeah, Draw just go, does go into that again. And U turn was very free, as it did. It did likely take out the Shaman at, at that range. So, Bill can either go into a Zero Aura again or go into something like his Finny or his Greninja, which can likely capitalize on this as well. Um, though I can see Draw going hard into his Garchomp again, as, yeah, he goes into his top of Finny, and Alamo Mola can't really do anything besides knock to this uh, top of Finny, but even even then, with how healthy this is, and yeah, that doesn't really seem ideal, and the shame is pretty low, so Moonblast does seem like a pretty good play, as it will most likely to KO this Alamo Mola, as likely Fizz Defer on uh, the Infernape, and... Um, not, uh, Moon Blaster knock out the Shaman, and if there's something like HP Fire for the Scizor, this is just looking really annoying. Coco really doesn't want to switch hard, um, hard into it as, as hard into Moon Blast, so... Yeah, um, Bill just goes straight for the Taunt. As he goes for the knockoff, I don't understand that play. I heavily disagree with that from Bill's end, as I don't really see what status... I mean, I guess, like, I don't... Like, I don't think Wish was the play there, as it didn't really accomplish anything, as Bill would just be able to Moon Blast the next turn so shaman wasn't coming in and knockoff was pretty likely unless he doesn't have moon blast if he doesn't have moon blast then i understand that play it's like moon blast surf um i guess could be his set but even then i don't know moon i don't see a reason as to why he'd be surf over moon blast because okay so he is moon blast and that actually does 16 so this isn't a soft oh mirror coat i so yeah this wasn't a self sl momola so Taunting didn't do anything in the long run, but yeah, that that uh, moon blasted a lot. So nice ring on draws end, but um, yeah, moon boss is able to knock out the Alma Mola, which basically means that uh, Inferno puts in a ton of work. But he is able to bring in the Coco, which is looking scary. But uh, um, draw is did, did manage to get this Finny weakened, and if um, um, like I, I don't think it really did too much at this point anyway, but. Is definitely nice just so we can um if he's something like uh yeah i don't know but he did get in range stuff like scissor i'm not sure if it, these are mega scissors um but i don't see another mega besides garchomp which i don't think is that likely on either team so i, I can assume they're both mega scissors so uh yeah bill definitely has the upper hand at this point as I think Zero uh, th This Coco could definitely pose a bit of a threat, depending on the set, but. I don't think a Coco. I mean, maybe if it's like a Twinkle Tackle Coco, that could put in a lot of work. Because we haven't seen Z from the Garchomp. And the Z rules in this are you can just pick any two Z or so. You can't. So he just goes hard into. Oh, he goes hard into the Zero as he reveals a Calm Mind. So if this is a Calm Mind Twinkle Tackle, that could be a huge problem for Bill. I'm not sure if like some if um like an electric terrain boosted plasma fist will leave this in range of a bullet punch from the scissor, but if so, that could really be a huge problem for Bill right now. Calm Mind Coco definitely looking like a nice spray. As plasma fist does, oh, we get to crit. That is big. That is big. And oh, oh, wow. So all um the Coco could do was just quick hit neutral hit power ice versus the Aurora. Um. He didn't really have any coverage for Zara, it seems. Don't really agree with that prep, but I'm sure there's reasoning behind that, so. Um, yeah, that I think that kind of wraps up the game as uh, Greninja kind of just looks like it's going in on this point, as I'm pretty sure Shaman will be able to just drop. And if it, if it has HP Fire, I think the game should be wrapped up. Uh, I don't see any way how this could lose, how, like, a Scarf Chomp can lose to this as... Um, he does reveal a Swords Dance. If this is like a sub Salic Chomp, and and Bill chokes and he managed to keep it up a sub, then that could be a bit problematic. But um, he if he subs, I assume he'll be able to be in range of either Greninja, like just an attack from Greninja, um, he, like like Wire Shuriken from Greninja, Banded Mock Punch, uh, Bullet Punch for Mega Scizor. Yeah, this doesn't seem like a like a very optimal bring all draws in due to all the priority. And even if he subs, if he's Wire Shark and Greninja, yeah, he just clicks Earthquake, which is probably the best play. But Greninja should be able to just revenge with any attack. 
Still can Infernape. Um, I'm not sure if Banded Flare Blitz kills, but even that, even that could just kind of clean here. But it does make more sense to just kind of keep the Infernape around. Um, uh, Drago's Heart Scizor as uh, Life Horror Ice Beam does do a solid chunk. And if this is HP Fire, Scizor should drop here. Even if, it might drop to Hydro. I don't think it will, though, as Scizor is very naturally bulky. And Greninja isn't that strong. Um, as yeah, he does reveal the Hidden Power Fire. And that's likely going to be good game. Um... Uh, and, uh, yeah, Shaman, if this is, yeah, 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 this, this is game over. It was actually Yachi Shaman, so, which, which doesn't make a lot of sense. And, but, yeah, that, that's definitely good game, so, um, yeah, good game. Um, I think that was very well played by Bill. Very good prep with, uh, the Zerawara, the Lando, like, the bulky Lando, the Bandit Inferno, which can just U-turn into a lot of things. The Greninja really put in a lot of work, but, yeah, uh, as of now, the series is tied 1-1 between Platoon Goons and... Uh, DPL's first team. I, I definitely think this is the series of the week. Two evenly matched teams, in my opinion. Platoon Goons did manage to upset the Crusaders week one, and the Platoon Goons still have some good players left, such as uh, Count Riario in, in their um, lineup, so... And, yeah, um... Uh... The, uh... The DPL's first team has, has some, uh... Good, uh, team... Good players left as well, so... Yeah, thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoy this. So yeah, see you guys next time. Peace.